Hello, 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 everybody. Happy day. I am Gloom, and welcome to another stream. Today, we are playing 60 Seconds, and it's not just any regular 60 Seconds. It is going to be in star, star bomb mode. Can't edit that out because it's live. Hello, chat. Welcome. And we're going to try to do our best. We're going to try to beat it. And there's a little bit of a twist. So every single time Ted gets messier or anybody in the family that I managed to bring gets messier, I'm going to get messier because, after all, it is the apocalypse. So let's just get right into it. We are going to do... We're just going to wait a sec so I can find my mouse. There it is. We are going to do a new game. We're going to do classic... Here we go. Apocalypse and Sarbama. See, the problem with Sarbama is that you have zero seconds of expiration time. We're going to have a lot of health issues. We're going to have to call 911. We only get... S oh, oh boy. The shelter's going to be empty. We're going to have problems every single day. I'm really nervous. Hello, chat. Welcome, welcome. Also, every single time we get a super chat, I'm going to get messier. So I'm going to get messier when Ted gets messy and... I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get messy in general because it's the apocalypse. We're going in. We're going to begin this adventure. Are you ready? Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, we got to bring soup. We got to bring everything. I'm doing this live, so I, there's no way I can do it. Okay, okay. Okay, we're going to... Eh. Please. Okay, we got the axe. We're going to get the flashlight. Why isn't he picking up the flashlight? Pick up the flashlight. Pick up the flashlight. Flashlight! He's not... He doesn't want to pick it up. Okay, we're going to get the Boy Scout book. Maybe I can get the flashlight on this side. Please. Okay. We only have... A little while left. This is absolutely dreadful. Okay, we're gonna get our wife. We're gonna get the radio. And we're gonna get some water. Like Jay says, it's very important that you get some water. Okay, we only have half of our time left. Are we gonna get Mutant, J mutant Mary Jane? Hopefully she becomes a mutant. Bullets. I don't really know if we need bullets, but that's fine. We're going to get the in- No, we're gonna get the gun. We're gonna get the gun. It's Star Bomber. We're gonna get- a little bit of poison in case we need it. We're gonna get some water. Oh no, I, I gotta get the med kit. I gotta get the med kit. I gotta get the med kit. I, I guess Timmy isn't coming along. I'm so sorry, Timmy. I'm sorry, I always loved you. We're gonna get the map. And we're running out of time. We're running out of time. Can I, do I have time for the lock? I don't. Ah, okay, we're going in. This is what we get. We got a super chat, Alexis, $5. Thank you so much for the super chat. And that means that, no, not in my face. Lint. You had to like dig. I'm allergic the attic. to dust. You had to dig through the attic to get some of the, some of the stuff <laughs> you brought. Chat. Is everybody allergic to dust, or is it just me? You had to dig through the attic, so it give you. It give you <coughs> I am not a cute cough. I'm like. <laughs> <sighs> okay, we've got a lot. We've got a lot of good stuff here. Unfortunately, we don't have any food whatsoever. I forgot to get the gas mask. Chat is saying, don't screw up. I have no food. I know. But you know what? We're going to do it because we have the med kit. We've got the poison just in case some crazy spiders come. Well, well actually, we might want Mutant Mary Jane. I'm not sure. What One are you more, doing? You got another super chat from Alexis, so I'm just doubling up on the link. Uh, Cassie, when are you and Cub Scouts collaborating? I don't know. Maybe soon. Uh, so we've got the gun. We've got the map. We, we've got, like, everything that we could possibly need to survive except for food and a gas mask. So this is gonna be messy. We're gonna have to make a few sacrifices, unfortunately. Um, oh boy. This is Sarbama mode. I am very nervous. We got to the shelter just in time. Good thing Mary Jane didn't bring her tuba. The fan noise here is bad enough. Mute Mary Jane, she played, I keep calling her Mute Mary Jane. I just, she just kind of looks like a mutant. You know what I'm saying? So she didn't bring her tuba. Wait a second. Where's Timmy? We forgot Timmy, unfortunately. That's very, very sad. We didn't bring any food at all. But hey, could have been worse, right? There's just barely enough water for everybody. We'll have to ration it strictly. So every, every five days we need water. Every ten days we need food. So I'm going to wait ten days. Ten days? Or should I wait five days? I'm going to wait five days before going out the first time. We have a med kit in case somebody gets sick when they get back. Hopefully we can repair it with the Boy Scout. Oh wait, you can't repair it with the Boy Scout book. <gasps> oh, okay. So it is day one. Nobody is having anything for quite some time. It is not easy to be calm in these circumstances. Hopefully we will keep our peace or else we might need to act like wolves. Survival of the fittest and all. Oh, okay. Day one is over, but we... Oh my God, I can't believe I didn't bring food. We just got another super chat. Inhale my Richard. Ooh, a little play on inhale my wee wee. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. 
Does that mean I get to have to do something? Huh? Does that mean I have to do yeah, something? Yeah, it does. It does. Is it possible to like draw so, like, a little bit of like a... Like, like a five o'clock shadow? Okay, give me a five o'clock shadow. Is this eyeliner? Not too much. Yes, it's eyeliner. Thank you for knowing your makeup. Thank you so much for knowing your makeup. Yes, give me a little bit of a shadow. I'm gonna be Ted on day two, baby. Here we go. And uh, let's open up the book and do a little reading while this five o'clock. You are such a good makeup artist. Thank you. Thank you. It's easy to feel a bit. <laughs> it's easy to feel a bit down when living underground like this. No sunshine, no sky. We need to get rid of that five o'clock shadow. Five in just a second. Five o'clock shadow in just a second. There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Dolores is fine and well, as much as anyone can be fine in this tiny little. Okay, don't you think I've ha I have enough facial hair by now? Jeez, Ted is just fine. A okay, thank you. Okay, so nobody is eating again on day two. Day five, everybody's going to need water. And then day 10, everybody's gonna need water and food. So I'm gonna wait until day 10 to send anybody out. Unfortunately, we brought Mary Jane and she, she eats a lot of food and she, like, she needs a lot of resources. So I'm really, really worried about that. Um, let me know if you can hear me, chat. Oh, Trevor Griffin says get her in the face. Like Trevor Griffin says get her in the face. Terry got me in the face. Alexis. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, Timmy was the only one that brought you good stuff and you already screwed up. Okay, so we're not gonna go on a trip. It doesn't even look like we can right now. Hmm. Okay, we're going to... Wait. There is nothing more surprising than a knock on a fallout shelter door. Who could it be? Should we investigate and risk our very lives? That sounds like a good idea. Shall we open the door? Chat? Are we gonna open this door? And possibly get a little food out of it, or are we gonna are we gonna keep it cool? Um, I mean, if we open the door and we get robbed, then then this this stream is over. So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? How long will you be streaming? I'm gonna be streaming for as long as this takes. So let's make it last, baby. Let's make it last. Oh my five o'clock shadow. Do I look like Ted? Eh? Open it. No, no, no. I'm seeing lots of no. I'm seeing a lot of yeah. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of yeah. We're gonna do it. It's day two. Let's, you know what? Whoa. There's no lid on this. Oh my goodness. What are you doing to me? Maybe we should cover this up. Here, one sec. Okay. Oh, what is that? Okay. We're gonna do it because you guys are telling me to do it. And uh, hopefully, I mean, it's only day two, so if we get robbed, I'll just do it again. So here we go. If we get, oh, I just forgot that there's a lot of radioactive fallout, and so this might be, oh no. Okay, day three, we look fine, everything looks fine. What was outside? There we go. We got plus two waters, chat! You did it, we did it! A group of travelers wearing gas masks and carrying some serious looking equipment gave us purified water. Before we could thank them, they turned away and left. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. No, Mary Jane, no, not until day five. If there's one thing we need, it's water for Dolores, whereas water when Ted needs it, nobody is drinking anything until day five. We've got tons of water though. I wish we could trade some water for some oh, food. Yeah, what? Oh shit, sorry chat. My bad. Woo! Streaming. Okay, here we go. We're not gonna go on an expedition just yet. Confined spaces are not a very friendly environment, and we quickly got into an argument over some trivial things. If this keeps on, we might find ourselves in a nasty place. Okay, so everybody is fighting right now. Um, I just hope that nobody goes insane because we're fighting so much. I forgot to bring cards or a board game or anything that will make this entire thing a little less mundane. But we're, we're here's hoping, guys. Here's hoping that good things are gonna happen. I really wish I brought the padlock. I feel like that's a very, very important thing. But we have the gun and we have an ax. We've got a little bit of protection here. Day four. Enough arguing. There are more important things to worry about. Perfect. Okay, so everybody's doing fine. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. I don't believe you. We're waiting till day five. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. No. Not until day five. No, we're not going outside. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We plan to go to Niagara Falls to see the beautiful waterfalls. We never expected to get a waterfall of our very own in the shelter. Right now, it seems that half a dozen pipes burst and all that water is pouring into our bunker. We need to save our supplies. No, we can only save one thing. Should we save the radio or the map? The radio or the map? We need both of them, like both of them are extremely important, but I'm pretty sure that the map is a little bit more, 
I'm trying to remember right now. It's been a while since I played this game. I'm trying to remember what thing is more easily repaired by the Boy Scout book. What do you think, chat? Tatum Crazer, high end titties. Thank you for the super chat. We can't see the game! Sorry, sorry, I left it in full screen for so long. And happy birthday, Alexis. Thank you so much for the super chat. Alright, so you ate you ate some soup? Okay, so you everyone wants me soup? to no you excuse ate some me. Soup, no, no, but you no, only no, got no, it. No, 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 no. It's not even got, on Ted's face yet. You got a little bit of soup on your face. No. Okay, we are going okay, map and radio. Everybody in chat is divided. I'm gonna save the radio because I'm seeing radio more right now. Hopefully we can repair the map. Oh, I hope so. Oh, there are problems every day in Star Bomber mode. Okay, so today is day five. Today is the day where we drink a little water. Oh, we lost the map. The radio was rescued first and before any of that filthy liquid got into its case. It wasn't long before most of the water disappeared, but the damage it done was enough to upset us. Cleaning and fixing this mess will take us days. And what's that smell? Oh no, somebody's gonna get infected. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Delor okay, everybody needs water. Luckily, we have some. Ted's got some, he's got some foot in the grave. And uh, this is all we're gonna do until around day eight where I'm going to send somebody out. It looks like the area is still irradiated. Um, we're not gonna go to the wasteland right now. We forgot a gas mask. This is a disaster. I wish that at the very beginning, trying to pick up the flashlight actually worked. That'd be really, really nice. We're not preparing for an expedition just yet. Hey, wait, wait. This dreadful silence is becoming boring. And like every happy model family, we don't have that many things to talk about. Is there anything we can do about that? Anything at all? We're going to listen to some radio because I, we need to keep our troops sane. Otherwise, very bad things are gonna happen. They're gonna go insane. I'm not gonna be able to save them. It's gonna be game over. So we're gonna listen to some radio. It didn't say anything about tampering with the radio. So hopefully nobody goes crazy. Hopefully the radio doesn't break either. Hi, Steven! Looking classy, Cassie. Thank you so much for the super chat, and thank you for enjoying my five o'clock shadow and my hot sauce. Also, it's Alexis' birthday, and I wanted you to sing happy birthday. Oh, you want me to sing it? <laughs> okay, just let me read day six. Ah, uh, how fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They still play music out here, don't they? There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Everything seems okay with Dolores. No new problems are troubling Ted this morning. Oh, there's so much stuff in my hair! Okay, nobody is eating or drinking today. Everything should be fine. Contamination of our town is still strong. Um, we're not gonna let everybody, we're not gonna let anybody get sick by radiation sickness. We had the most curious visitors today. One of them was making a sound of a galloping horse using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other, Monty Python style, while his companion was pr pretending to ride said horse. They claimed to be on a very important quest to seek some magical cup, the Holy Grail. Only they lost their way in the wasteland. They asked permission to have a quick look at our map to determine whereabouts. We don't have one, it broke. Hopefully they don't hold it against us. Oh boy! Oh boy. Day seven, here we go. We couldn't contain our laughter and our guests took offense. Hopefully they don't come after us. This hot sauce on my face is bothering me. It's like, it's burning my face right now. Everything seems okay with everybody. I'm just gonna check really quick. The contamination is still strong. Is the contamination ever gonna go away? <sighs> Should we do a little happy birthday uh, scavenge any? No, we're gonna do two. We're gonna wait till day eight. Being safe down here is much better than being pulverized out there. But that doesn't mean we don't want to go outside. Maybe we could take a walk soon. The neighborhood is probably much more peaceful since the bombings. Um, okay, it's day eight tomorrow. We're gonna go on a little happy birthday run. Are we going to send Mary Jane or are we going to send my wife, my life, my everything? While you guys decide in the chat, Happy birthday, dear Alexis. Hope it's good and you have ramen. Because you always have, you have to have ramen on your birthday. Okay, it is day eight. It's better to be safe down here than dead up there. Mary Jane is quite hungry. What else is new? Dolores would really love something to eat. I'm seeing a lot of, hmm, I'm seeing a lot of Mary Jane. Are we gonna send Mary Jane? Uh, my only, my only issue with sending Mary Jane is that 
I want Mary Jane to become mute Mary Jane, but you guys really want Mary Jane to go, so Mary Jane is gonna go. We're gonna start an expedition tomorrow. Oh, the problem is simple. If we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick, seriously sick. It smells really bad down here and doesn't seem like it'll get any better over the next couple of days. How about we do something to fix it? Okay, we can't afford to have anybody being sick. I would rather use the spray right now than the med kit. So we're gonna go ahead. Now Mary Jane hasn't eaten in quite some time, so hopefully she comes back. I guess we shall find out. Sylvia Munoz, thank you so much for the super chat. Hopefully you survive. I hope I survive too. Ah, that's so cold, stop. Stop it. Stop! Ah! What is that? Ah! It's cleaner. Okay, okay, okay. You got a shower. That's fine. Oh, thank you for the shower. We finally have a good use for that bug spray we brought down. It probably smells better than we do, so we can use it to become a bit more presentable, smell-wise, anyway. Mary Jane is hungry, but Mary Jane is going outside. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Oh no, I just realized that Mary Jane is probably not going to be back in time. Uh-oh. Okay, so we're going to give Mary Jane some water and hope that she comes back and hope that we don't die. Mary Jane, go outside. Go outside, baby. And just go by yourself. Don't bring anything with you because we need all the equipment we can get. Okay, so it is day 10. We're, we're stumbling upon the day where people need to eat. People need to eat. Mary Jane needs to come home, but all we can do is give them water. This is probably the most disastrous run. At, like, it's actually the apocalypse right now. Oh boy, okay, so all we can do is eat and wait for Mary Jane. That's all we can do. We put all of our eggs in this basket. There has been some radio chatter about airdrops from the military. It's about time. Too bad we don't have a gas mask. We're screwed. We just have to sit here and wait. That's all we can do. I'm covered in garbage right now. It looks like everybody's sleeping well. The parents are still alive right now. There's an empty water bottle here on the ground. Did she forget the sun? I did. I didn't have time because there was a little bit of a technical difficulty at the very beginning where I couldn't lift up the flashlight. Ah! It was too dangerous to go out there without any protection, so we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. Dolores has any barely Dolores has barely any strength left. If she doesn't eat tonight, she will not last till morning. Okay, we might have two skeletons, and if we do, unfortunately, we're going to have to restart. If there's anyone who can rescue us from this hellish situation, it's our government. You can badmouth them all you want. But that probably means you're either a naysayer or a commie. We're good citizens. We've been paying our taxes regularly, so we're sure Uncle Sam is coming to get us. Well, except that one time when we... Ah, uh, never mind. The government people are coming, and we should keep our ears open for any sign. Sure, but hopefully you live till tomorrow. It doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like you're going to. Evie Proctor, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much for the mustard, Terry. Really, really no appreciate it. I want to get it on the chair. Uh. Uh, we'll just make sure that's What did you do from the fart spray a month? What'd you do with the fart spray? Oh, we got rid of it. That stuff stank. And Maya, thank you so much for the super chat. We knew it. The government has not fallen and they're coming to save us. Will Mary Jane come back and do a clutch save and bring us food? I don't think we're going to survive until tomorrow, guys. I don't think we're going to do it. I don't think it's going to happen. It's not easy to be calm in these circumstances. Hopefully we'll keep our peace or else we might need to act like wolves. Don't die. Please don't die. Mary Jane, can I hear a bunker door? Please! Please, can we get a bunker door? We do not have one. Everybody is barely holding on for dear life right now. Dolores is gonna die. Ted is gonna die. We're being stuck in a tiny shelter. And it's not good right now. Uh, oh my goodness. Should have, should Mary Jane have been back by now? Uh, okay, so it's day 13, so we really can't eat or drink anything. Wait a minute. Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it'd be a good idea to take a quick look outside to see if there's any trouble in the area. As we were about to step out, a pair of animal eyes flashed in the darkness and their owner started growling in a most terrifying way. We only had moments to decide what to do. Okay, so this is Pancake, I believe. We're gonna take the, we're not gonna kill Pancake with the gun. We're gonna flash a light on him and hopefully he will be our dog and he will bring us food. I just heard a bunker door! Mary Jane brought food! Chat, we did it! We did it! Oh, I could cry right now. Mary Jane is sick, but you know what? Oh, no. She brought a padlock, too! Oh, my goodness. But we need the, we need the cape. Guys, should we let Mary Jane die? 
and bring Pancake because we need to use the med kit on either Pancake or Mary Jane. Do you want Mary Jane or the dog? Please let me know. Sarah, thank you so much for the super chats. I'm so glad you're, enjoy you're enjoying the live streams. Louis R, thank you for the super chat as well. Okay, so what all did you bring, girl? What all did you bring? Okay, we decided to check what's coming for us without a flashlight. Guess what? It was a dog! The poor thing seemed tired, so we let it stay with us for the night. The next morning, we opened the door to let it out. It still hasn't returned. Hopefully, it will come back later. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane, the MVP, returning to the shelter from the surface. During our expedition, we tumbled upon the ruins of a familiar building, our local bank. Okay, I, I need to skip all this. We got four soups, one water, a deck of cards so we don't go crazy, and a lock. Okay, everybody in chat wants the dog, so unfortunately, Mary Jane is going to die. Everybody's going to get fed right now, except for Mary Jane. We're just gonna let her die. She's not gonna siphon any of our resources anymore because we need the med kit for Pancake, because last time I had Pancake, he brought, he brought the goods, okay? You so. Got a, you got a scratch from searching for something. You're really creative, Terry. I'm trying to be. You're very, very creative uh, indeed. Oh, here. okay, here we go. Yeah, it's a really awkward spot oh. for a cut. Oh. Ring, ring! There we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again, when suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We figured it's the phone booth across the street. Should someone go answer it? My wife will. Right? We're starving Mary Jane to death, so hopefully the wife comes back. I, I've never in my experience had a bad time letting my wife go out and do this. Good. That's what I thought. Unfortunately, unfortunately, chat, Mary Jane is going to die down here because you wanted the dog, so she's sweating, she's in pain right now, but unfortunately, that's just the way it's gotta go. When we answer the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of release from, relief from the caller. Okay, so, these are the twins. This is the twin ending. We're gonna try our best to get it. I can't believe things are going so well in Sarabama mode. Not only do we have the gun, but we've got the ammo. We just need to fix this map. We need to fix the map so badly. Okay. It's day 15. Um, hmm. I'm gonna give Ted and Dolores some soup and then on day 20, we will give them soup and water. Okay. Good to give. Should we start an expedition for tomorrow? Since we're getting rid of Mary Jane anyway, oh, she can't even go. Mary Jane will surely die if she goes outside. Okay, so we're just not going to because we're good. We're fine. I know you feel bad for Mary Jane. Unfortunately, we have no choice. We keep dreaming about those little things we did back in the day when there weren't as many bombs falling down. Not on our heads, anyway. We're being very nostalgic. We miss the good old days. We miss recess. We miss Rocco's modern life. I can see this thing while I'm talking. There we go. Mary Jane has exited the building. I was hoping we'd get a Mary Jane skeleton, but unfortunately that's just not how it's gonna work out. We couldn't spare any food for Mary Jane, even though we have enough. And she left. She reached a boiling point where her stare was enough to kill. She left without a word, but we knew she would probably become a highway woman and get all the food cans she would ever need. She would make a very good highway woman. I know that for sure. Living in the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to think about today and tomorrow and anything else except for Mary Jane. Mary Jane is in the past. Pancake is our new daughter. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Boy, you just ate yesterday. Quit trying to trick me into wasting my resources on you. Okay, the contamination is still strong. We're just gonna chill out. We are fine for now. It's been a while. We don't know much about what's happening on the surface. If we only had a chance to tune in to some emergency radio broadcast or learn a thing or two, let's tune in. Wait, it doesn't say we're gonna tinker with it or anything like that, it just says tune in, so I assume the radio isn't gonna break. I assume. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit nervous, chat. Uh, okay, let's just hope, let's listen to it and let's hope for the best. But I feel like the twin ending is better, but I feel like you need the map for it. Let's just, let's just go for it and see what happens. Maybe we can trade for the radio. We do have ammunition. The radio is fine, okay. I can't believe Sarbama is treating me so, so well. 
we were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout outside has mostly gone, okay? We have officially passed the phase of 60 seconds apocalypse mode where you need a gas mask to go outside. So we're fine right now. We don't need you anymore. We could have traded you later, but I forgot you. Dolores would love to eat something. I'm sorry, guys. You're not having anything until the 20th. You'll survive. Trust me. Oh, we were admiring the radioactive landscape when we saw a young woman dressed in ragged camo clothing. She had a nasty looking rifle, but she hailed us in a polite enough manner. She claims to be a hunter, tracking a big mutated spider. She ran out of ammo and told us that if we were to help her out, she would pay us back in a while. Should we give her our ammo? Um, what do you think, chat? Should we give her our ammo? I'm not, I don't believe I've ever given this woman my ammo, but I could use some good karma because we do only have two cans of soup and three waters left. We don't have a map. I really could use some good karma right now. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. No? I'm seeing a lot of yes, a lot of no. I'm seeing a lot of no in caps. Um, I kind of want to because I want good karma, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you guys are divided. You guys are divided! Sarah Hamlin, did you quit Twitch? Um, not, not officially. I enjoy Twitch. I like being able to play music in the background when I'm streaming. But, um, YouTube is really fun because I like being here with you guys. Like, most of the people who tune into my regular videos. It's fun. Yes, yes, okay, I'm seeing a lot of yes right now. I am going... You guys are so divided. Official uh, girl just got you a new shirt. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is great. This is the greatest like apocalypse shawl. of my life. It's kind of more of a shawl than a shawl. Yes. Okay, we're doing it. Aaron Hall, thank you so much for the super chat. We are giving the woman the ammo. She sure promised she'd pay us back. Hopefully she will. It is day 18. Sarbama mode. We are still alive. I'm wearing a garbage bag. The hot sauce is hurting my face. Hopefully, one day, she will pay us back. I don't know what she's planning on doing with that spider when she catches it, but hopefully she trains it to catch me some more food because I could really use some right now. Dolores wants to eat. Ted needs to eat. It's, they're not gonna eat for another two days. They're not gonna eat or drink for another two days. These days are passing by real slow. It's pancake, chat! It's pancake! Scratching on the door could only mean one thing. Our dog friend is back. We raced to open the door, not considering it might have been a mutated beast. But Luck smiled at us. The furry fellow seemed really tired and hungry. Should we feed him? Yes. We need you, Pancake. We need you so bad. Oh, that, uh, this thing this thing right here, it looks scary. I was like, ah, what is this? We only have one can of soup left. We're gonna have to send somebody out. The dog was back to his former self in under an hour. We don't know what they put in that soup, but man, that stuff is good. We decided the dog needed a name, and the right name for him was Pancake. Come here, Pancake, who's a good boy? Pancake stayed around for a while, but was gone the next morning. We bet he will be back. Let's, let's, he better come back. If he doesn't come back, I'll be very lonely. Day 19, nobody eats or drinks today. I'm, I think I might send up, I think I might send Dolores pretty soon because we only have one can of soup left. Uh, let's think about that lake we've been going to for the past few years. It'd be so good to find ourselves there right now, far away from all this madness. Swim a little, maybe take a boat ride, maybe go tubing. Oh, that'd be so nice. Oh, I wish. We've been in this bunker for- what?
Water consumed too? Okay, yeah, I definitely didn't give them enough water. Oh boy. You only gave them food? No! No! Okay guys, we're trying Sarboma once more. And hopefully, good things will happen in our lives. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I made a mistake like that. Trevor Griffin, thank you for the super chat. He says, epic fail. It was an epic fail. I'm really upset right now. Oh, that was so bad. I can't believe I, I had it made, chat. I don't know if I'm gonna have that kind of luck again. Oh, Welchie Patterson, thank you so much for the super chat. The streams are great. Ooh, you're taking your first trip to Canada in a couple weeks. Any recommendations on what to do in Toronto? Um, go get lots of good food. Go get lots and lots of good food. I recommend snack bar. Everything is like five dollars or something like that, and everything is very, very good. Very small portions, but you can you can rack up a big five dollar bill there. Also, uh, Momofuku if you like ramen. Okay, we're going. Boy Scout book. Boy Scout book. Uh, we're going to get the axe. Um, what is back here? Okay, it's just some soup. That's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna take a look. The med kit is back there. We're gonna make sure we get it. I believe this time I shall bring Timmy. I will bring soup, water. Okay, I'm gonna go in the other room and get, let's see here, map. Map, lock, water. And might as well get a game too in case we go crazy. We don't have much time left. This run is actually looking a lot worse than the last one. Mary Jane takes up so much space. Can I get the radio? I don't, I can't, I can fit the radio, okay. Um, let's see here, we can get my wife. A flashlight. I don't believe I've gotten any water whatsoever. Uh, we need the med kit. It can't fit. Oh boy. Oh boy. The reason why Sarbama is so hard is because in the other modes, it gives you a few seconds to like scope the place out, look around, and see where everything is. Whereas with Sarbama, you don't really have the opportunity. I don't have a gas mask. I do have food and water. I've got a lot of supplies here. We're just gonna try to make it work and we're gonna hope that we've got the whole family. So we've got a lot of people we can send out and try to get us extra supplies. We only need a med kit. We really only need a med kit to make it. So we'll see how it goes. All of us made it into the shelter this time. All of us! We don't have much food. Nobody is going to eat or drink until and nobody's going to eat until day five nobody's going to drink no nobody's going to drink until day five eat until day ten i think don't let me screw it up again chat don't let me screw it up again chat um okay we're going in <laughs> mary jane is thinking about her tuba and we're going off into day two so yeah you need water more often than you need food okay it is day two, we are still chilling. I'm going to send somebody out again on day eight and hopefully it goes as well as it did last time. Ugh, memories or not, we need to keep our heads clear and get a grip on the reality ahead of us. Nothing's boring Mary, nothing is bothering Mary Jane. Timmy is a strong young boy and nothing to report about Dolores. Ted is fine, it is day two, nobody is eating. Nobody is going outside, everything is still very radioactive. There isn't a lot of space down here, and we can smell everything. When one of the wall bricks got loose today and revealed a hole, we felt pretty sick. It's the smell coming from the hole. It's terrible. Should we investigate and remove the source of this stench? I did bring the poison, but it doesn't give me an option. I feel like if I send somebody in that hole, we're gonna get sick. But we could also find food if we go in that hole. Um, I'm not gonna do it. I can't risk it. I don't have a med kit. I don't have a med kit. I can't risk it. If somebody gets sick and I send them out, their likelihood of coming back is a lot lower. I just hope that the whole stench doesn't come out and make us sick. We decided to ignore the whole the stench and anything that might happen because of it. We've taken enough risks already. I believe in that as well. We ended up feeling a bit unwell and later we heard something moving in the hole. A few hours after that, the smell was gone. Interesting. 
Interesting. Okay, so everybody is getting a little bit thirsty. Nobody is drinking anything until day five. The, the area is still heavily irradiated. So we're not gonna go outside. And it's not easy to be calm in these circumstances. Hopefully we don't fight. Hopefully we don't go insane. Oh, good choice. Thank you, Princess Zozo. Okay. Being stuck in such a tiny shelter would make anyone a bit apathetic. We need to stay calm and await the rescue. Surely someone's coming for us, right? Mary Jane keeps fainting. Okay, everybody's got one foot in the grave. Unfortunately, we just gotta wait one more day. If anybody dies on me again, I'm gonna be very upset. The, ra the area is still highly radioactive. Oh boy, and we cannot, we cannot pursue the military ending at this point in the game because we don't have a gas mask. So, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna eat and drink. Uh, oh my goodness, I just realized that the fact that there's four of us, uh, that's, that's, hmm. That's, there's not enough food and water to go around, so we're gonna send somebody out. We're gonna send somebody out, we have to. And I think it's gonna be Timmy. All right, oh. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nobody needs food until day... I think it's day 10? Yeah. So everyone's just gonna have water right now. I'm going to prepare an expedition, although the, the neighborhood is still highly radioactive, and we don't have a health pack. Hmm. But we do, we need more supplies. We do. There's no way around it. Uh, okay. We'll just start preparing an expedition anyway. We don't have to go on it. I wonder if preparing an expedition takes resources. That's something that I've never really paid attention to while playing this game. You want me to send Mary Jane? Alright. She's gonna go then. Our favorite radio station stopped broadcasting. When we tried other frequencies, we found nothing but static. Are all of the stations gone? Maybe we should tinker with our radio to increase its range? No! Don't you dare break your radio! This is Sarbama mode! I've already made enough mistakes! It is day six. Everybody is looking quite haggard. Everybody's looking quite haggard. We're sure they are experiencing technical issues. Yes, that's it. Everything will be right just fine. Yeah, you guys, if I tinkered with the radio, guys, the radio would have broke. So there's no way. There's no way I'm gonna do that. Blah, 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 blah. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Of course it could. Um, there's Mary Jane dreaming about the food she's supposed to have. No! Actually, it kind of looks like Dolores, but... We're going through? Okay. Some of us are keener to go outside than others. Either way, it's time to choose the most able and responsible person for the quest to gather more supplies. You guys want me to send Mary Jane? I kind of want her to become a mutant, so I kind of want to keep her behind. <laughs> You guys are already saying, no, send, send Mary Jane, send Mary Jane, send Mary Jane. Okay, all right. I'll send Mary Jane with nothing in hand. Have fun, Mary. I hope she doesn't get the rest of us sick. Yeah, we definitely need supplies and we don't need Mary Jane siphoning our supplies right now. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Timmy should eat something. Everybody's really hungry. Nobody's going to eat until day 10. One minute, it was fine, and the next we were at each other's throats. How did this happen? This is insane! We need to get a grip on ourselves if we're going to survive this. Let's just sleep on it, okay. That's fine, let's just sleep on it. Calm down, don't go crazy. I brought you guys checkers! If you can see these checkers down here, just play them and stay calm. It's the apocalypse, just chill out. We could barely sleep after all that arguing. Let's hope this won't happen again. This is not good, guys. In the last run, I was so lucky they weren't fighting, like they got over it the next day, whereas with this run, the arguing, it seems quite intense, and uh, oh, I can't believe I botched the last run, guys. I can't believe I did it. Eh! Okay, it is day eight when nobody's gonna eat or drink today. Hopefully, Mary Jane comes back. We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't, but we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is they're probably scared they've probably scared off any rats in the area. The bad news is they are huge and will probably attack us when they get a chance. We're gonna use the Boy Scout book because the Boy Scout book doesn't break, it's reusable, it's a wonderful little piece of equipment. I'm glad I brought it. I always bring the Boy Scout book no matter what. 
And see, it's, it's still there. It still works. It's wonderful. I love that Boy Scout book. That was close. A nest of those glowing bugs might have been more than enough to drive us out into the wasteland. Roaches are the worst. But radioactive roaches? Yikes. I'm really glad that it was roaches and not spiders, because if it was spiders, I'd be really, really upset that we sent Mary Jane out, because I really want her to be a mutant. Okay, it is day nine. Still, nobody gets to eat or drink until day ten. I gave everyone water on day five. Right, chat? Let's hope so. Let's hope I didn't botch it and give them food. Alright, day 10, everybody's still alive. Being stuck? Oh no. Okay, okay, they're not fighting, they're not fighting. Everybody needs food and water now. Let's go. Everybody's eating- oh, excuse me. Everybody's eating and drinking today, yeah? Yeah, because I did water on day 5, everybody gets the whole works on day 10. Perfect. Whoa. It's rough out here, chat. It's rough. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in. But we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble. If that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy had comics about those. Okay. Let's check to see if the military is here. Anthony Salazar. Thank you so much for the super chat, and thank you so much for the well wishes. I'm gonna need all the luck I can get, as you can probably tell. Mary Jane is back, and she is sick. We don't have a health kit. We don't have a health kit. So we're gonna have to send her out again. She's not- actually, we can't send her out because she just came back. What did she bring? Eating all that tomato soup. Ew. It's just Ew. everywhere. Just- you just gotta get it in your mouth. That's hot sauce! Yeah, but we don't have tomato soup. Can I get some water, please? Oh! Two soups. One suitcase. Chat, can you let me know, um... Can you let me know what the suitcase is good for? Because I actually don't know! Ah! Thank you. Will you turn up my mic a little bit, please? Turn it up? Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. So we are going to starve Mary Jane. We have to. We have no choice right now. Um, we just don't have the resources. Thank you, Mary Jane, for the soup that you brought. I really appreciate it, but unfortunately, you're gonna have to die. We don't have a med kit. There's nothing we can do, so I'm not gonna give her any food. Uh... <laughs> Thank you, everyone, you, for tuning in. You look great. Thank you. Let me know if you can hear me better, chat. You need to use water ASAP? Uh, I just did yesterday. And we don't have any left. Somebody's gonna have to go out again. Who's gonna answer the phone? Timmy, no, Dolores is gonna go answer the phone. Maybe I'll send Dolores out with the suitcase. Yeah, the suitcase can carry more things. I'm gonna send somebody else out. I have to, I have no choice. Now, Dolores has got like the big, strong, ropey arms. So I'm going to send Dolores out for a little walk, even though it's still highly radioactive. No, we're gonna flood it again. We're going to save the radio again. Yeah. No, we're gonna save the map this time. We're gonna change it up a little bit. This hot sauce is so hot. <gasps> oh. Hmm. Day 13, I'm, I'm good on my food and on my water. The radio is now broken. Dolores is going out and she's taking the suitcase. Come back, baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. When you get back, if you get back, you can blame it all on me. Oh, now, hopefully we can use the Boy Scout book to repair the radio, that'd be sick. We couldn't spare any food for Mary Jane, she got to a boiling point. Mary Jane has left the building as well. The women are gone, we're gonna have some little one-on-one -on -one boy time. We're gonna teach little Timmy here how to be a man. And that's by not siphoning all of our resources. Day 14, one more day until water. Oh! I'm just gonna see, oh, we only have water for one person. <gasps> oh boy. Mike hit you up with a little super chat. Oh, Mike. Mike Equida, eat the money. I'll eat the money. Thank you for the super chat. What was that, a rat? Eat the lid. Rats are usually smaller than, no, hell no. Okay. Rats are usually smaller than cats. And what's with the double tail? We can't let that thing get to our supplies. No, we cannot. Oh, we didn't get the gun this time, hey? We didn't get shit. Oh my goodness, I keep like licking my lips and the hot sauce is so hot. Ah! 
our cans are saved! And the axe is still okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do soup and water. We need Ted because otherwise the game ends. And hopefully Dolores gets back with a suitcase full of water before Timmy dies. Here's hope. Let's hope that the clutch save happens once again. Mmm. Our town used to be a very quaint and friendly place before the blast. Sorry, I'm like salivating right now because there's so much hot sauce in my mouth. One of the townsfolk we often recall is the old man, Jim, who would sometimes limp through our street. Turns out he's alive and well and still homeless. Some things never change. He clearly misses us as much as we miss him. He's been banging on our shelter door for the past few hours and asking whether we want to buy a rock. Hmm. Now this is a townsfolk guy. He seems, he was a nice guy back when it wasn't the apocalypse. I don't know if he's a nice guy now. Do we want to buy a- we don't really have any money to buy a rock. Yes, I feel disgusting. I feel awful! Oh lord, don't die. No, no, no. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of no. It's gonna be no. It's gonna be no! Keep Timmy safe. I will. I'll try. I'll try my best, chat. Oh, that was a big lint. Oh! Timmy's gone! No! Lack of water drove Timmy insane. He opened the shelter door and ran away without looking back. He's not likely to return. No! No! At least Ted's still alive! During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind our door. When we peeked out in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase. It has no address or name on it, but we're pretty sure it's meant for us. Should we open it? I'm just gonna- no. I don't know. Uh, chat, I'll leave this one up to you. We could do a straw poll for sure. I just like, I'm nervous because it's, if anything happens to Ted, it's game over. So I'm just trying to prolong the game for as long as possible because the longer you play, the more chances you have of something good happening to you. Mm -hmm. Everyone's already saying yes, I'm doing it. Oh, my lips are on fire. It is day 17. And it looks like our old buddy has an injury. From the suitcase trap! Damn it, the gift was booby trapped! There was nothing inside besides some junk. And as soon as we opened the suitcase, it exploded. Ted was hurt. Kitty cat, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. We don't have a med kit. Please, Dolores! Dolores needs to come home! Otherwise, this is it! If Dolores doesn't come home, it's game over. It's game over! It is day 18. Okay, we're fine for food and water for now. We need Dolores to come home. The radio's broken. We can't listen for the military. We've got a map, though. We've got a map. Hey, Dolores is home. Jaden Thomas. Ah, I just wanted to say hi, Mom, even though you're not a mom. Thank you so much for the super chat. This is not, this is looking dire. This is looking dire, chat. They say ignorance is bliss, so did you bring anything? Did you bring anything? You brought a deck of cards! I don't know why you have pepper on your She head. brought a deck of cards and that's it? Really? We're gonna, okay, we're gonna have to set Ted out. Ted out. We're gonna have to do a Hail Mary, Mother of God. Oh no! The last run was so good! Ah! That's horrifying! Oh boy! Have a little soup there, Teddy boy! And go outside! Oh, this isn't looking- Take an axe with you! Still gotta take an axe. Just go! And defend yourself! I know you're hurt right now! I think- yeah, it's game over. It's game over! Ah! This was such a- Bad run! This was the worst! This is the worst I've ever done! No! Ted has been outside for far too- He just went outside! Eh. No! Uh, GG easy. I tried, guys. I tried my best. I tried my darndest, but unfortunately my darndest wasn't good enough. Where the heck is my- 
Where the heck the heck is my mousey mouse? I know. I know, chat. I did horrible. I don't know where my mouse is. Ah! I'm feeling crazy right now. I've got hot sauce all over my face. Ah! Oh, there it is. Oh, how nice. How nice, chat. How nice. How nice this was. What a nice stream. You look great. I know, right? Wow. I need to get this shit off of my face. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I would really like to do Sar Bomber mode again. I, like, I'm crying right now because there's shit going in my eyes. I'd like to do Sar Bomber mode again and actually beat it. This is the hardest mode to beat. I'm sorry, I botched the first one. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream, though. If you did, please show it some support. Well, show the VOD some support. Thank you for coming. My nose is running. Oh, oh. I love you all so much. Thank you for coming to the stream, and I will see you later.